we continue to celebrate Pride Month here at CBS Colorado and elevate voices in the LGBTQ plus community. So Stephen Hayden, CEO of Envision U, is here with us first at four to discuss Pride Month and its significance. So Stephen, uh, always wonderful to see you. Thank you so much for being here. It's we wonderful to see you. Thanks Absolutely. so much. Absolutely. So first of all, let's talk about Pride and how it all came about and how it contributes to the visibility um, for the LGBTQ plus community. Of course. So yeah. first of all, to your viewers, happy Pride. Yeah. It's so nice to be here to have the <laughs> opportunity to talk about this. Yeah, Pride um, really started um, at the Stonewall Riots um, in New York City in Greenwich Village in 1969, and it really galvanized the uh, political movement, the LGBTQ rights movement, and the ability to celebrate Pride across the world that we do today. Um, you know, some folks that were really instrumental were black and brown trans women who were really on the forefront of pushing back against systemic oppression. And I know you, <clears throat> of course, work hard at Envision You to um, address mental health and well-being of individuals in the LGB LGBTQ plus community. Um, what impact does Pride have on that? It's really amazing. So just imagine you're coming together with members of our, of our community. Mm -hmm. So often we see folks, particularly at Denver Pride, more than 300,000 people join us for the multi-day celebration. And they're coming from small and rural communities, places from around Colorado. And the ability to have a sense of belonging, to celebrate your authentic self, really brings a lot of joy um, for, for members of our community. I was gonna, that was gonna be my next question, actually. Can you talk about the importance of creating that belonging, that sense of community? Yeah, probably one of the most important uh, social determinants of health is a sense of belonging in our community and with people that have shared lived experience and identities as ours. And so, you know, coming together, it's a celebration. It's mm -hmm. also a moment to reflect on um, some of the challenges that our community continues to experience, including a wave of anti-LGBTQ legislation mm. across the U.S. Yeah. And so um, it's a great way to uh, celebrate your authentic self yeah. and uh, to be in community with people. I, you keep... <laughs> beating me to it. So I was going to say, you know, when we think about things like Club Q, we think about the anti-LGBTQ legislation. Um, how does Pride help address these challenges? Indeed. So we know discrimination continues to be prevalent in our community and members of, uh, of the LGBTQ community continue to experience um, hate crimes, uh, violence, discrimination, harassment. So, you know, this is a place for folks to be able to find safety and community yeah. and bolster that psychological safety that so many people across our country um, are really challenged with right now, frankly. Yeah, yeah that's so important. Yeah. Stephen, thank you so much for being here with us. And you can find more information in this interview as well at cbscolorado.com.